Hey folks, just a reminder to check out my other channel, How to Rock Spirit, where I talk about everything under the sun, from astrology to mysticism to psychedelic yoga to practical materialism and philosophy too. Hope to see you there. Namaste. Greetings everybody, my name is Dustin Cormier and you're watching How to Rock a Campfire. Uh, today's episode is on a song called Aqua Long by Jethro Tull, classic 70s tune. Uh, it was requested by Ina and uh, Evan Bourgeois. Uh, YouTube users Ina and Evan Bourgeois, thank you for requesting this tune and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I enjoy teaching and playing it. Okay. <clears throat> so today's episode, uh, we're going to play a song called Aqualung by Jethro Tull. Classic tune, obviously. Um, it's a tune from the 70s. Uh, very, like, psychedelic. You know, when you're just thinking of all these themes about this old man that's going through all this crap. He's got this Aqualung. And it's kind of seems infinitely relatable because we're all going to be old people one day. Time's passage is always turning. And uh, he talks about all this thing about this old guy. There's some great parts, you know, leg hurting bad. He bends to pick up a dog end. It's just like an end of pointlessness. It's kind of cool. And he says, uh, you know, Aqua Lung, my friend, don't start away uneasy. You poor old sod, you see, it's only me. We're all the same livingness, and it's like, you know, any old Aqua Lung, this haggard character that you see on the street, I don't know. I guess the writer of the song em empathized with them, you know? Um, okay. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna get into it. Now this is obviously a crazy complex and weird song. In terms of the writing of this song is brilliant, you know? Um, it's a weird riff. I've tried to acoustify it. Tried to make it in a way that you could get away with it on an acoustic guitar with a bunch of buddies at a campfire kind of thing. And I hope it worked out. The, the, the bar chords are a little weird. And they're not as loud as a full chord, you know, when I'm doing um, those, all that stuff. But uh, if you really give her on the bar chord part and really give it a little bit of slam, and then try to blend it in with the chord parts, I think it works. I think we can make it work, people. So we start off. Um, it's a it's a weird time signature. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three, Uh, sorry, I screwed that up. But I guess the timing is the same. It's just very strangely syncopated, meaning it's always four four. It's just that the musicians are blah, blah, lots of days, you know, being lopsided all over that main beat that is there when you listen to it, you know. Um, so I'm gonna try to show the chord progression while doing that one four, uh, the four four beat. One two three. I guess I'll show that first riff first. So the first note is uh, the one, and you're doing a uh, on the D fifth, and that's the fifth fret of the A string. Um, I should explain this now. When I'm talking about the chords in this song, the base of the chords, I'm going to mean the actual chord that you're seeing. For example, when we go to the sun streaking cold, an old man wandering low. That whole part, I'm going to be saying, you know, E minor to the D, D to the A. Even though what you're actually hearing is not what I'm saying. This, you know, the song is in like F, uh, I think. So it's like E minor, uh, or so it's like F minor to the E. F no, sorry, G minor to the F, and then F to the C, C minor. You see what I mean? So my point is, is that when I get to the parts with these chords and you're gonna I'm gonna change the key basically to what you're seeing on the capo but when I'm doing the chords for the sit sitting on a park bench sitting on a park bench I'm gonna be trying to actually explain it with the chords that you're seeing for example this first note that I'm hitting is a D note it's actually on 
the fifth fret of the A string, that's a D chord, whether or not this capo is on here, right? That, the fifth fret of the D like that is a true D chord. If you actually listen, I'm going to do this. If you hear that, that's a D chord, that's a D chord, right? So the notes that I'm saying up here are going to be the actual notes that you're hearing for now. Anyway, so we're starting off with the D fifth chord. Usually when I say it's a D fifth chord, it means this bar chord where you're basically using your first finger and then your third and your fourth finger to take the fifth fret and then the high octave. These fifth chords are nice because there's no minor third or major third. A minor third and a major third give it the tone quality of sort of happy or sad, uh, but you can go in between those qualities of the chords by doing riffs in uh, using bar chords, and these, these fifth chords. The D fifth uh, is neither D minor nor D major, right? Anyway, so we're starting off on the uh, fifth fret of the D uh, for that D, D fifth chord, and then we go open, uh, open E, or yeah, open E string on the third fret. Uh, you're kind of going. Uh, this is the notes in the in the chord. You're going open third, fourth, and then. Um, like the blue note, which is like the sharp fourth. Open third, fourth, blue note, and then back to the, the bow, uh, which is the fourth. Anyway, so open E string, third fret, fifth fret, sixth fret, fifth fret. And these are the fingers that you want to use for it. And then you wait uh, for eight bars, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, uh, sitting on the park bench. Uh, so, one, one, two, three, four. And then right on the one of the next beat is when you go to this uh, C sharp chord. To the E flat, to the F. Right? Um, I I'm gonna, I gotta show you guys this part now, so this is gonna get confusing or whatever. Um, so it's that B flat chord uh, to the C style chord, and then um, it's basically like a, a D up here because we're doing the F chord, right? So, and then on the F, you wanna go bam, 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 bam. So you're going from that F, E flat, F, F sharp, C sharp. Remember, this is the true chords or the notes that I'm saying. So it's like, um, maybe I'll say the, the note that my first finger is hitting because that's the root note. Just maybe that, if that'll help, right? So first fret after the capo, third fret after the capo, then fifth fret. Fifth, fifth, third, fifth, sixth, first. Third, 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 first. Fifth, sixth, sixth, fifth. Um, sixth, sixth, fifth, <laughs> and then it goes um, fourth fret of the E string, and then back to the second fret of the A string. So I know I kind of screwed that up with the chord names, but um, C sharp, E flat, F, 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 E flat, F, F sharp, C sharp, E flat, E flat, E flat, E flat, C sharp. Uh, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, and then F sharp F, and then the B note, and then the D note, B, D, right? And when I go to that B note, I just basically do like, same thing as the bar chord, right? But I kind of do like a major chord sometimes. Major chord, and then D chord. So that's our riff. Hopefully I'm not making this too confusing. I'm going to try to play it with, while I'm saying the notes. Uh, the, the beats, excuse me. Um, so, one, two, three, four. 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 Right? <clears throat> 
sharp E flat Confusing. It's a weird chord scale for sure. Um, so down, 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 down. Then after that part, you hit the one and you come in late. One, two, three, four. So and on this part, it's weird because you're going third, 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 first, um, third, 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 first, sixth, sixth, fifth, and then B. Right? Fourth fret on the E, then second fret on the A, C. So it's like E flat, E flat, B e flat, C sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F, B, B. I'm making this way too confusing, but anyway, hopefully from what I've just done, you guys can see the main riff. Um, I've given you all the notes, all the notes are there. It's uh, C sharp, E flat, F, 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 F. F E flat F F sharp C sharp E flat E flat E flat E flat C sharp F sharp F sharp F B D e. <laughs> I don't know how else to do this so I'm just gonna put that there and we got to move on to the next part um, <clears throat> so uh, we do the that this main thing we start off by doing just the bam, 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 bam twice by itself with no lyrics, and then the third time is when the lyrics come in. And we do the thing with the lyrics four times, right? Sitting on a park bench, eyeing little girls with bad intent. Um, Drying in the cold sun. Ah, you know what I mean. So that was one segment, and then the, the snot is running down his nose is the next, drying in the cold sun, and then feeling like a dead duck, spitting out pieces of his broken luck. Whoa, aqua lung. And so after the fourth time of doing this crazy nonsense chord stuff, you know, it's hard for the acoustic musician, but now we're coming into the acoustic part that acoustic musicians love. Um, blah, blah, blah. Spit out pieces of his broken love. Oh, aqua And then, and that's when it comes into the now. The, the chords up to make this easy. Excuse me. <clears throat> to make this easier, I'm going to say the chords which are actually seen on the capo, uh, rather than like this is technically a G minor because it's an E minor brought up the third fret, right? But I'm going to say the chords that you're seeing. So this is an E minor, this is D, this is A, etc. Right? Um, yeah. Whoa, aqua long. Sun speaking cold. An old man wandering lonely. Taking time. Certain parts you're gonna do the the D chord twice, and this is one of those parts. Uh, it warms his feet. This is one of the reasons I wanted to use the capo is because they do. I could have done it without the capo and just did a regular F chord on this part, but they do this right, um, like a D chord with the suspended fourths. I mean, <clears throat> blah blah blah. Feeling alone, the army's up the road. Salvation, I love moon in a cup of tea. Aqua along, my friend, don't you start away uneasy. You poor old sod, you see it's only me. This part you do after the you see it's only me, you do the tea the tea twice. Then it goes into this part. Do you still remember that the sun was foggy breeze? So that's just E minor. D, 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 D,
Uh, when the ice that clings onto your beard was screaming agony, and you snag your rattling last breaths with the deep sea diver sound, and the flowers bloom like madness in the spring. Um, so that's that that last part. Uh, it changes a little bit. This is the only part of the song that really kind of changes, really. Uh, and uh, and you snatch your rattling last breaths. Is uh, with deep sea dive of sounds to the E minor, and then the and the flowers to the C bloom like madness to the A minor in the spring. Um, then it goes to the D twice there, uh, and then so it goes right back up to the sun streaking cold. Uh, <clears throat> that's the first wor words right after the whole first uh, weird part. So it's the second verse or whatever, the bridge kind of thing. I don't know. Um, so yeah. Sun streaking cold, an old man wandered lonely, but taking time the only way he knows. Leg hurt and bad, he meant to pick up a dog, and he runs down through the fog and warms his feet. The D twice, and then again. Feeling alone, the army's up the road, salvation all alone in a cup of tea. Aqualung, Aqualung, my friend, don't you start away and easy You poor old sod, you see, it's only me So sorry, yeah, so this part we will have been going fast Aqualung, my friend, don't you start away on easy You poor old sod, you see, it's only me Let me do the D twice there And then you come into this thing where it's like E minor This part is the solo part, and the solo part is different. Uh, you're, the only way it's different is that you're going from the E minor to C to D to E minor. You do that pretty much four times. Three, and then on the fourth time, you stay in the D. you go back into another solo. Um, I usually, for this part, I usually just do the E minor to the C to the D to the E minor once, unless you got a bunch of musicians. You got a bunch of musicians jamming this, this is like the keyest part of the song when the drums are doing the paradiddles on the bass and everyone's or on the cymbal and everyone's doing different, like, awesome things. It's a great psychedelic jam. Um, not exactly conducive to one person playing guitar though, so that's why sometimes I just skip the second E minor to the C to the D to the E minor part. But then, um, yeah, after after going fast for a little while there, I'm going to D twice, and then it comes into the slow part again. So you guys know where I'm going with this though. So that's when we come into the last verse is the same thing as the first verse. Sitting on the park bench, eating, or er, <laughs> sitting on the park bench, eyeing little girls with bad intent. Kind of a fun lyric. Blah, blah, blah. Goes right down to the end. Uh, feeling, feeling like a dead duck, spinning out pieces of his broken love. Oh, I 
rock of love. And then it does it one more time. Uh, it does the, the very first thing it does in the first part of the song, where it's just the riff. No singing. And then on the second time it goes bam. And that's when it goes to like that's how it ends. <laughs> Alright, so that was fun. So hopefully I, this song is a little bit of a, a tough one on the uh, the old chord hand because of all these damn bar chords. Um, it's hard to do bar chords on acoustic, but we can do it how to rock a campfire. I'm having a lot of fun with this one. It's one of those songs that you play, like, you warm yourself up a little bit, you play it once, and then, like, that was the big one, you know? <laughs> and it's like, okay, I'm gonna have a smoke, I'm gonna rest my fingers, and then coast the rest of this jam out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it happens. Alright. <clears throat> so now I'm gonna play the whole thing the whole way through, so that you guys can see what I'm getting at. To play this song is an actual acoustic tune the whole way through for a campfire. And I hope you guys enjoy. This is Aqua Lung by Jethro Tull, played by yours. Drink. Drink.
hard, you see it's only me Sitting on a park bench fun though. I'm glad I got that song out of the way. So thank you very much to everybody who always tunes in and checks out my channel. Thank you very much to Ina and Evan Bourgeois for um, requesting Aqualung. It's an awesome tune and thank you very much. And thank you to everybody who watches my show and tunes in. Love you guys. Take care and I'll see you on the flip. <laughs>